Brenda Barton is a Republican state representative in Arizona. She's insignificant. I don't give a damn about her. But what she says is an insight into how Republicans think as they applaud her and and she's encouraged by I'm sure what she sees from her supporters. Yeah, Obama, it's all his fault. They shut the government down. Listen to her tweet. Someone is paying the National Park Service thugs overtime for their efforts to carry out the order of defura. Where are constitutional sheriffs who can revoke the Park Service Rangers' authority to arrest? Do we have any sheriffs with a pair? Yeah, that's what you need. You need a pair of balls. Yeah. Have one set of cops go after another set of rangers. I, I remember these days. You remember the civil rights days? <laughs> we need a pair a guy, sheriff and uh, local authorities and cops with a pair to defy the federal troops. We're not going to integrate our schools. Oh, that damn Eisenhower and all those guys who want to uh, come in here and tell us what to do with our schools and our boys. We know the white and black don't mix and they're never going to mix. And now here we are again. The goddamn park rangers shutting down the parks. Hey, you idiots. The park rangers didn't voluntarily decide to get furloughed and not paid. They put a guy in the, in the front there, everybody else goes home, they're not getting paid. The guy in the front says, I'm sorry, the park is closed. Who closed the park down? You did! The Republicans closed it down! And now they turn around, can you believe the, the Fuhrer? The Fuhrer. Obama's a Nazi because the Rep Republicans shut the park down. And that the sheriff should come in and what, shoot up the ranger so they can open up the park with no park rangers in it? Oh, great, perfect, we're back in the wild, wild west. Well, yeah, we'll go in the park and we'll all have guns and we'll all shoot each other and maybe our kids and our wives. It'll be great, man, no law at all. You know what these Republicans are, ironically? They're so extreme in their insane libertarian anarchy that they're basically Marxists. Oh, the state will melt away. We'll open up the parks and it'll be great. The only thing stopping us is the Fuhrer. You know, if we had no laws at all, then the Supermen would win. Nietzsche Supermen, Ayn Rand Supermen would win. They would shoot everybody else in the face like Dick Cheney did. And, and they would get to rule everyone. You need laws. Remember when the Republican Party be, used to be the party of law and order? <laughs> now they don't even believe in law and order. They believe in just going and just whoever's stronger, you take the park. You shut down the government. Obama didn't say, hey, you know what? I want you to shut down the government because I hate Obamacare so much. It's Obamacare. You're the one trying to shut it down to prevent Obamacare. Obamacare already passed. President Obama didn't bring it up like, hey, you know what? Can we vote on that again? He didn't bring it up. You brought it up. You're the one who shut it down. I'm, I'm so frustrated because how do you talk to people who literally refuse to accept reality. How do you do math with someone who says two plus two doesn't equal four? Okay, if you think it equals five, how can I have a rational conversation with you? And that's where we are as a country right now. We can't have a rational conversation with the Republicans. And so we got 30% of the country who believes them, and they live in this fog, this haze, and uh, if they're this crazy, they might just go ahead and shut, you know, forget shutting down the government. I mean, l l what would happen is they would literally shut it down. They would actually say, okay, we're not paying our debt anymore. Good luck to you all. America, that used to be the number one country in the world, is now like a third world country that says, oops, <laughs> I got debt, then I can pay them. Because these guys think we live on planet Uranus.